Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations. And what do we have here? Well, it's nothing but a nice, neat little parcel consisting of various PLTA modules and the associated components. And guys, usually what happens is that when the courier boy brings this kind of exciting parcel to us, we guys get super excited and we try to test these modules as soon as they arrive. And to test them, what we usually do is we get uh, something like this. So this is a 12 volt battery and we directly connect the PLTA units to this battery. And here is where the mistake happens. Now guys, these PLTA modules, if you directly connect to the battery to the full power without using a heat sink, it will very quickly overheat and that can permanently damage your PLTA modules. So guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how to test these PLTA modules safely with and without heat sink. So both of the methods, we are going to discuss them in this video. So I'm going to get rid of all of these extra stuff over here and set my workbench. By the time guys, you hit that like button, which is down there below for you. And let's continue with today's video. First, we will talk about trying to test these spell TS without a heat sink. So say you are going to a shop to buy these modules and you don't have any method to put them on a heat sink, then what you can do? So this is one of my favorite methods over here. And this is just a double A cell. So it could be a rechargeable cell or it could be a normal alkaline cell. And what we'll do is simply we will take this positive and negative and we will touch this to the cell. And over here you can feel that Pentire has started providing a very mild cooling on this side which is the side with the label and on this side it starts heating up. So the effect is very mild but at least you can judge that the Peltier modules which you are buying are worthwhile the price or not. So if you test it like this for 3 to 4 seconds no harm will be done to the Peltier module because the power levels which we are providing is very less. So this is one of my favorite methods. Other method is an extension to this method so you can get a battery case like this. I got this out of a damaged toy. You can even buy these things and three cells of 1.2 volts each means that it can provide 3.6 volts. The method will be the same connect the positive negative like that and you can feel the hot and cold side. All right. So now we will move to the second part of this video where I'll show you how to put some Jugard heat sinks on this thing. So let me get those heat sinks over here. So guys, we have a few objects over here. And the first thing over here is a professional CPU heatsink. So this has come from an old CPU and this thing has come from an old GPU or a graphics card. And the formula is very simple so we won't waste much time on this. The first thing that you need to do is you need to apply a thin layer of this heatsink compound or thermal paste. And in an emergency if you don't have this heatsink compound then what you can do is you can go for a bit of uh, Vaseline or petroleum jelly. So for the purpose of testing, you can say for 5 to 10 seconds, even this thing is enough and it will allow you to test your PLTA. So using professional heat sinks is of course the best idea to test your PLTAs. Now we shall move towards the Jugard part of this video. So over here, what you can use is a water block. And for 5 seconds, even if the water flow is not working or if you don't have a pump, it's all right. For 5 seconds, you can still put your heat sink on it. I mean, you can put your pelti on it after using the heat sink compound. So this is the heat sink compound. Put a little bit of it here. Put your pelti module on it and you can test it. Even without water block, 5 seconds, this thing can survive. No issues over there. Now, here is the very nice option which I have brought. And this is nothing but a scrap piece from the people which, uh, you know, repair doors and windows. And you can go to any shop which sells aluminium sections or which repairs the doors and windows. Uh, from these aluminium sections. So uh, most of the time they'll give it away this kind of this scrap they'll give it away to you for free. You can get this thing over there. A very nice uh, piece of cheap uh, jugad you can say which works as a heat sink. So the formula is the same apply heat sink compound or use a little bit of petroleum jelly. You put the heat sink compound over here. Put your pelti on it and then you can enjoy freezing water or you know, you can enjoy the cold side over here by testing it with a 12 volt battery for a few seconds. 
And guys, if you are interested in uh, watching my videos where I have tested these PLTA modules in action, the playlist is waiting for you in description below. And specifically, I'll point you towards a shorts video. So the shorts video is over here in the i button or I'll provide a link in the description where I have uh, rapidly used this uh, PLTA to very quickly freeze a drop of water. So if you are interested in watching these things in action, then the videos are waiting for you. And guys, if you want to buy any of this stuff, so be it this uh, heatsink compound, be it the Peltier or be it this kind of CPU heatsink itself, the links will be waiting for you in description below. So make sure to check out the description section once. So that's how the video was there today. Make sure to share this video around with your friends because I see that a lot of newbies end up ruining their Peltiers because they are not aware of the basics of these uh, Peltier modules. They end up directly connecting the battery and the Peltier module temperature skyrockets in a matter of few seconds and hence it effectively ruins the performance of these heat sinks. I mean these Peltier modules without heat sinks. So that is it for this video today guys. Take care and have a nice day.